everyone, it's Claire at Diamond Painting Nerd and this is my first ever kitting up video. So I have purchased um, a cheapy cheapy um, budget friendly kit from Amazon and I've shared that um, in another video already and I am ready to start kitting up um, for starting that project. So I'm using the Art Dot um, case which I also purchased from Amazon anything that I've purchased on Amazon I will leave linked down below I know there's nothing more frustrating than um, seeing something wanting to get it um, and then searching forever to find it so um, we have 23 colors in this one so it shouldn't take too long now this is the only second time I've kitted up as I've explained in my previous videos I am fairly new to diamond art painting um, and I've only actually done one which was a mammoth one it well it was a mammoth one for me it was a 50 by 70 um because i'm stupid and i thought that yeah I go for the the biggest one possible um so yeah i've already done that one i've done that and finished that and i'm literally hooked on this hobby now and so yeah i want to do all of the diamond painting things so yes i have ordered this one this one was from uh amazon and um it was well supposedly it was it was on special it was four pounds 99 um down from six pounds 99 and i have shared it but this is the diamond painting for this kit it's like a watercolor uh stitch and it's a 30 by 40 so yeah i'm just going to kit up these 23 um these 23 colors i think the only one that i'm really going to have um issues with is the um number 23 which seems there are three bags so first time i've done these uh, these like this because the first kit um that i had they all came in they all came in zippy bags um so actually that was a lot easier to deal with when uh than these um these appear to be so yeah i don't know if i'm a fan of I much prefer the zip bags is what I'm saying. Um, I've just, I tore the first one of these, but actually it just seemed to, um, it just seemed to go, I'm wanting to rip into the next one. So that's probably not going to be good going forwards. So I'll just trim off, cut them apart, I think, as I go. Oh, look at that. Just having a look at the quality of those i can't see any i see no trash in there at all and it's not static you can see them just moving around freely now i've said on a previous video i actually had an issue where one the last kit that i did one of them wasn't um when i opened it um the they weren't static at all um but part of the way through they just became really static in the um, in the pot, and I don't know why. Oh no! I need to keep an eye on that. I don't know whether they all were from the last one. So that is number four. So, so yeah, I am cutting my the bags as i go just purely because they seem to rip but i can't complain too much because like i said this is just a, a cheapy kit from amazon so really excited to get this one started but yeah lovely oh that one's a bit static mm, okay i'll see how we go when i start actually painting which i'm hoping to make a start on today i finished my first one yesterday but yeah i'm really excited to get the next one underway i'm really sorry if you can hear the dogs in the background oh they like to um they like to start moving around as i um start filming yeah that one's a little static too i think hmm interesting interesting that some of them are static and some of them aren't yeah you can see it's sticking to the bottle never mind we'll see we'll see what happens so number number seven Just make sure i've got none oh i've got a 
one left over in there. I haven't found any hitchhikers yet, which um, I had in my last kit, which was slightly frustrating, especially when they are very, very similar in colour. You don't always notice until you start. See, that one's not static at all. I don't know. I don't know. Right, number eight. And let's cut the top off. And pop my little funnel on. And I'm just using the funnel that came with the, um, the kit. Uh, that came with the art dot case, should I say. But, yeah, see that one's static as well. Hmm. Odd. Very odd. Right, and then number nine. And this one's a lovely peachy colour. Oops. Now, I may try... Oh, that's got a... Yeah, see where they're static, they're sticking... Even though it, that's a silicon funnel, they are still sticking to it, which is slightly frustrating what i might try is let's try the technique of popping them into a boat and let's see if that makes a difference so number 10 oops rather than the funnel let's see let's pop them into this actually let's go with the big boat we're gonna need a bigger boat as they said in Jaws. Right, uh, number 10. And let's see if we can get these in without trouble this way. Mm, that seems to be a little easier. We'll see how we go with static using the boat versus... Yeah, one doesn't seem to be static. Yeah, we'll see how, um, how the static is and see whether it actually that silicon... Um, the silicon funnel is the difference yeah so i think my only issue with getting all of these in here is going to be that last number um because the background is all one color but i have also purchased another storage system um because i want to i want to try out the different pots to see um what i prefer to get on with um, the uh, these screw lid pots versus the clip ones the ones that clip open and I've purchased that from Shein I think that because I scrapbook and that is a very expensive hobby um, versus this hobby um, which actually I'm so surprised at how inexpensive this hobby can be um, when you take the budget friendly route um, is what I mean I know that the um, some of the kits the, the more expensive ones um, they're beautiful um, but they are really um, they're not budget friendly um, and I know that you know in an ideal world um, I would love to purchase some of those larger more extravagant um, kits from some of the bigger players in the game but um, I'm just getting started with my diamond painting adventures and so I am initially going down the budget route and maybe just treating myself um, to a more expensive one for birthday or Christmas um, and then just filling in my my obsession with diamond painting as it's become um, just filling my obsession in in between with some budget friendly kits now i know that part of the issue or oh, we've got a hitchhiker part of the issue that we um that we face is the um you know whether the artwork has been licensed um and it's a real difficult one because uh I'm, oh it's in my hand um it's a real difficult one because obviously we can't always vouch for um whether they have a license to use that artwork um and i think that you know as a community i think we should be um we should be aware of it but there's very little we can do to um to monitor and regulate it um and so you know if they're doing something they shouldn't be 
by using um, unlicensed artwork, then that is completely their responsibility. Um, and so I trust that they have the necessary um, the necessary uh, rights to be able to use the artwork that they have. Um, but also I've seen as well where the same artwork has been used um, and then been produced by several different companies and the outcome in the final product is just completely different. Um, a huge difference in terms of the quality. Um, I was looking at a, um, uh, I was looking at another, um, another one on Amazon, and it's um, it's one of Mickey and Minnie sat in a boat um, in front of the castle, and um, it looks amazing on the actual artwork. It looks amazing. But the when I saw um, and this is something that I've I've been looking at. So when I when I ordered when I'm looking at ordering from Amazon, I'm actually looking to see the reviews and to see whether um, people have had the um, the uh, posted a picture of the of the final product. Um, and that's when I've actually then made a decision about um, which which ones I'd be interested in getting because I've noticed that um, I get that the small, oh, we've got another hitchhiker, the smaller the canvas, um, the the more pixelated it is. And I get that. Um, however, you can't always tell how well something's going to come out um, without um, a photo of someone completing it. And so when I've looked on Amazon, I've also then checked the reviews to see um, whether anyone's actually posted a photo of the finished product. Um, and then that's been a great way for me to be able to um, see how well it looks um, when it's actually completed. Um, and that has put me off so many um, of these paintings because, you know, I'm not expecting the world um, when it comes to the budget kits. But yeah, I want it to look like um you know roughly what the inspiration piece was um this one is static so hmm it's strange isn't it i don't understand so yeah you can see those are sticking to the edges um we're almost there 21 now so yeah it's um a new adventure for me exciting exciting to be able to start another crafty hobby um, that isn't going to break the bank. Um, so once, once I bought my, um, once I bought my art dot storage case, um, and a another pen, a decent one, um, one that wasn't going to hurt my hands over time, because that's the other thing as well. Something I've not shared is um, that I have arthritis, um, and so anything craft related with my hands um, is always going to pose a problem. But to be fair, I've had more issue with my neck um, and my back than I have with my hands with diamond painting. So it doesn't seem to aggravate my uh, my arthritis or touch wood. It hasn't done so far. You can just see that I've got a load of loose diamonds here from my last kit. So I'm just going to get those out because that's going to annoy me. So now we're on to the last number. I'm going to see how many of these I can fit in. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to... So this one is proper packed in there. There we are. I'm not going to um, open the others if they're not all going to fit in this um, container. What I'll do is I'll leave them in my case. Actually, I don't know if this is all going to go in here. Come on, please. Or maybe I like to live life on the edge with these pots. Properly fill them up. There we go. So there's number 23. So yeah, I'm not going to create several pots of 23. All I'm going to do is as I work through the diamond painting... Um, with the 23 as this pot starts to um, empty then I'll open another pack and I will fill 23 back up so I just store my extra diamonds in the top of the case um, and then I am good and I am ready to go so I'll pop my little funnel thing away I did seem to get less static 
when I was using um, the boat versus using the um, silicon funnel. Strangely, I don't understand why that is, um, whether it's just potluck. But I now have my kit ready to go and I'm super excited to be able to start painting my little stitch canvas thanks very much for joining me today for this kitting up video more videos to come from me and i'll see you all again next time